Hi all, you're watching Hitman Tutorials and today we're going to talk about CorelDRAW vs Adobe Illustrator. First of all, I want to point out that both vector-based software solutions are good in terms of drawing options and print preparations. There is no crucial difference except interface and what people are used to. Personally, I use Illustrator because it's industry standard, has more so-called one-click effects, which makes drawing easier, but find that CorelDRAW is better for beginners. But there is one problem with CorelDRAW. If you hand over the encapsulated PostScript file, so-called apps file, from CorelDRAW with some effects like transparency and some type of gradients, you can get rasterized and not editable Adobe Illustrator file, which is problem if client or client's designer uses Adobe Illustrator exclusively. So let's take a look. So what we have here is some objects with the transparency effect and uh, with this rectangular fountain fill effect which uh, is uh, just in Corel Draw. There is no uh, such effect in Adobe Illustrator. So let's take a look what uh, this will, how this will end up in the Adobe Illustrator. We, uh, we go and uh, export the file into apps or encapsulated PostScript which is universal file format for vector vectors. So we export it, uh, export text as uh, text, OK, but we can export it uh, as curves also. Click OK and let's open it in Adobe Illustrator. Click OK and uh, use the RGB color mode like in Corel and you see we exported it like vector, but transparency effect in the Corel Draw made this a raster. So this uh, this is a big problem when uh, you hand over the file and encapsulate PostScript file to a uh, client uh, which uses the Adobe Illustrator only Adobe Illustrator, not Corel Draw. And uh, if you uh, if you try to, we'll just ungroup and. Uh, we uh, will try to edit this color. So we go color and you see there is no options for color, just black and white. And if we try to um, make the color black, for instance, uh, there is not, uh, it's not editable. So, uh, Corel Draw uh, made uh, this vector uh, rasterized because of the transparency effect and uh, this gradient uh, is not editable. So, this is uh, this is a big problem if uh, if you use uh, the Corel uh, Adobe Illustrator and uh, you get the file like this. You 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 just have to draw it uh, from the scratch. So basically, th this is the only difference that uh, that makes a problem uh, between the Adobe Illustrator and Corel Draw. And uh, personally, uh, my advice is to use uh, the both. Both uh, Corel Draw and Adobe Illustrator, but uh, since the Adobe Illustrator is the industry standard, um, I, I advise you to, uh, to use Adobe in the first place. So I hope this information was uh, uh, somewhat um, useful for you, and uh, see you in the next tutorial. Bye.